Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to just be putting out one video starting today. It will be Friday, Monday, and Wednesday, and then all over again. Because I'm going to be making a permanent little M palette. Not necessarily like her products or anything, but um, I actually have a like palette down in my, one of my drawers. And I decided to take, because since I don't really use that anymore, I decided to take some of them, ones that I don't really use anymore, that some of these things that like, don't have anything in them anymore, clean them out, and make my own little palettes inside here so I can have something to use. And so what I'm going to do, what I'm doing first is I'm going to be making the blush, and I'm actually going to be super gluing each of these into here. Right now this one's super glued into there. Um, I'm going to be making a um, like almost like a brown smoky eye. Like more like it can make, make it like smoky eye, smoky or nude palette with brown colors. And today for the first video I'm going to be making the blush since it's already in there. we am making all the eyeshadows here right here and I'm not going to do any eyeliner because that's like really hard and then right here I'm going to do a brow if I can do if I'm able to do that and then right here I'm going to do one lip but if I can't do the brow I can just I'm just going to do two lip colors so right now I did just clean this out I put in um some oil free makeup remover and I just got all the because I used to have like glue and stuff around in here when I would try to make my own palette so let's clean that out and the colors that I'm using right now for the blush I'm using this color it's really light pink and then a white to give it a little bit of makeup, like a highlight and the things I use those I'm also going to be using a little bit of rubbing alcohol, so that. And I'm going to be mixing it with a toothpick. And what I'm going to do to get it in here, I'm also going to use, when I get rid of all this, I'm just going to put it back in the bowl because I've got a bowl in here with some of it in it. And just, it's going to be really liquidy, so I'm just going to suck that up and then put it in there like that so it not make a big mess it's pouring it in there. So let's get started. So I put it in about... Maybe a teaspoon of the um, um, blush. Just gonna move this right down here. So you guys can see what I'm doing. So we'll put in just a little bit of the stuff blush. Just get it back a little bit. You guys can actually see what I'm doing. Um, so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to put in, okay, well, the, um, and then the amount of highlighter that I put in is about maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon, so I don't want it really that shiny, but it's shiny enough to make give it a little bit of highlight. So I'm just going to put in a few drops of this first. Make it into like a nice smooth paste. You want to? I want to. I'm gonna mix up mixing it down at like the one of the ends of the bowls. Because it'll just be easier for me to get it in there. You want to look at it from underneath and make sure that there's no dry spots anywhere. Where the powder is, you want to make you want to make sure that there's no um, dry spots anywhere. Dry powder. Mix that up, and then go ahead and put in the rest of the rubbing alcohol there. I used about. An eighth of a teaspoon, one fourth teaspoon of rubbing alcohol. Just mix it all the way through, making sure to keep the bowl tilted like this. 
making sure that you get the most product out over here out and just Set off that much. Could you add just a little bit more rubbing alcohol to give it, make it a little bit more liquidy? So it would be easier for me to just pour it in. I'm not pour it in, but I'm just gonna start stirring it with. This, I can get it all mixed in. Alright, so now once once it's at this like really like liquidy state this. You want to go ahead and take the squirter to start sucking it up. The best you can with one hand. And then just take it and I'm just gonna set this down here. Just take this, open it up. And the reason why I put it over there is because just keep it out of the way and just squeeze it in. And after you've done that, you want to take a Q-tip, a couple Q-tips, and just clean up the edges if you need to. And once you're done, it'll look like this. Do not run my phone so give me a second. It'll look like that. You can do this with any color you want to. So and then after you're done, uh, make sure that it's not boiling that like um or top of it. But make sure it's not like overflowing or anything, and then you can just go ahead and shut it. So next, so Friday's video will be also going to be very, very careful too, so. So Friday's video will be, um, the first three eyeshadows, and then I'm going to do, let's see. Yeah, it'll be the first three eyeshadows, and then... My names will be the next three eyeshadows, and then it'll be the two lip colors or the brow lip color. So you want to also you also want to keep it closed and do not move it. Because it will if you move it, then it'll go everywhere. So that's that. So if you guys did enjoy today, please give me a really thumbs up and also comment down below anything if you guys can comment down below if you guys enjoyed and um friday i will also be releasing a update video because i've got some good news for you guys it's about saturdays videos on saturdays so yeah 
Please also be sure to subscribe down below, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!